Well, this guy commented and said, uh, Hello, and what about scanner driver? How to do it? Scanner. And Arch Linux. Challenge accepted. Alright, so today we are going to try to install a package that will allow us to use our scanner over the network. So this is the same package, right? So we're going to use same air scan. Alright, so let's see here. I'm going to bring this over to the other side so I can read while I work. So we will install So let's see if we can run scan image dash L. Okay, now you can see if it actually works. So I guess I'll go put something in there. All right, I'll go load a document of sort. All right, so I loaded up a picture of that. I loaded up the Aldi ad in the scanner bed there. Um, let's run this one. So we're going to scan the image. Format equals PNG. Output file. Test PNG. Progress. Let's see what happens here. Ah, invalid argument. What did I do wrong? I may need to specify the device. All right, so you got to specify the device. I'm going to copy out of the wiki. I'm just going to paste it here, and then we're going to make some changes. Paste. Okay. Scan the image, device, right? Let's see. Make this PNG. Make this PNG. Okay. Then I gotta change mine to match. Okay, how would I format that? Oh, okay. So let's see, I'll copy all this. Copy. Paste. Nice. So let's see if that works. Thinking it over. Oh, nice. All right. <laughs> let's go see if it's spitting anything out. So I guess it would probably go in my home folder, huh? So let's open up files. Nice. Look at that. Test PNG right here. All right. There you go. That's how you do the scanner. Install that package, and uh, I'll leave a I'll leave a link to the wiki in here. Now, that said, I think we should install a GUI front end so that we make it something we could just point and click, huh? That is so cool. I absolutely did not expect that to be so smooth.
install a front end here. We're going to use the simple scan because it's better integrated into the GNOME desktop. And that's what I'm running. Right? So it is because the package is simple scan. So we will do pacman dash s and simple scan dash s. Right? So I didn't put sudo. So here we go. Sudo bang bang. Go. Oh, yep. Okay. So we'll type in simple. And it says document scan. So we'll just open that up. Oh boy. I think it's going to fail. Let's see what's wrong. Shift plus plus plus. Do a simple scan. Let's go to the wiki. Maybe we missed a step or something. There we are. So now, let's see here. So it works in the command line anyway. As far as installing a front end, maybe we should try Xsane, huh? GTK based, yeah, it might work. Let's try it. Xsane. Terminal. Sudo Pac Man. Yes. Xsane. Okay. Let's see where we find that. Oh, here we go. Xsane scanning. Maybe it just works. Distributed, blah, 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 blah. No warranty. Except. Scanning for devices. Nice. Yeah, we're looking for this. Okay. Wow. Said it was old. I don't think it looks old. It looks great. What all we got here? Got all these different windows. Looks like there's going to be something of a learning curve here. Button controlled scan. Well, you could do that. All right. So let's see here. Pixma. Viewer. Flatbed color. Type by extension. Okay, so we have to select our output. We tried a PNG. Let's see if we could do a JPEG. All right. Does it say where we can put our outputs or no? Uh, let me see here. Yeah. We could actually just close the terminal. Done with that. Let's see. Acquire preview. Hey, let's do it. All right. So it's scanning. There's the Aldi ad I put in there. <laughs> that is cool. See, so we're going to do a JPEG. We're going to do one. Oh, here's where you can select where you want it, and then uh, you can change your file name probably too. All right. So, what if I wanted to put it in? Put it in my documents. Create a folder. We're going to call this scans. Okay, and okay. So now it's going to put in my scans, and let's scan it. So 
scanning. All right, so let's have a look in our uh, documents. Scans. Folder is empty. Well, wait a second. Now maybe I have to do something. Oh, okay. So we got file. What is this? Phone image. Save the image. Oh, okay. JPEG, yeah, that worked. Let me save. Yeah, looks like it worked. Let's open it up. Open up a deep in draw. How about that? Nice. So that would be my recommendation is to use this X scan. Because the other one had issues. But this X scan is nice, man. Anyway, that is how you install a scanner in Arch Linux. How about that? So, first install your printer. I have another video up here. Uh, you can look at that, how to install a network printer in Arch Linux. So go through those steps, get your printer working. And if it's a printer scanner, you know, assuming that, it's a network scanner. If you have different needs, then I would say look at the Arch Wiki, follow the steps. I don't know. I mean, I can only set up for the equipment I have, and I don't have it all. I got that one printer, so I got mine working, so good luck with yours. If you have a Canon PIXMA MX340, well, you know it's going to work, because mine did. Hey, with that, I'm going to thank you for watching, and I guess we'll see you in the next one. Y'all take care.